Hello and good evening. Welcome to my kitchen. This is Norma Costa coming um, to you from California. And um, I'm gonna be, today I'm gonna be showing you how to, how to make what I think is an authentic uh, uh, salsa verde, uh, green salsa. Um, I know that different areas in Mexico have different ways to make it, but this is a way that we make it in the big city, Mexico City. And uh, just a little bit about uh, my background uh, in, in, my, in my family. My mother was a, a master chef in Mexico for some years, and she started teaching me since I was five years old how to get around the kitchen, and she taught me everything that she knows. I didn't get everything which I now regret, but whatever I know, I'm gonna pass it on to you and what I think is authentic uh, to me. Another thing is that um, in every restaurant that you go, uh, what I believe is that they put too many spices that the food, Mexican food does not need. That's just what I feel because of the way that I learned how to cook. Uh, so I'm gonna teach you the very simple ways that, that I learned. First of all, I'm gonna start with the chile verde and then we're gonna do chile colorado and different salsas. And then after that, we're gonna incorporate that into meals. Eventually, I'm gonna start doing my own way of making uh, beans and refried beans and how I cook my beans and how I make uh, red rice, white rice, green rice, uh, and, and quite a few different things um, that I have learned uh, from my mother. Uh, we call my mother Nina, so I'll probably we be referring um, of her as of Nina. So today, chile verde, uh, what we're gonna use is you're gonna need your blender. What we're gonna be blending is gonna be hot, so make sure it has a nice seal in, in the cover. Um, what we're gonna be using, uh, if you don't know what a tomatillo is, this is a tomatillo, okay? And what you're gonna do with them, I used about 17 in, in my bowl that I already boiled. Uh, you're gonna peel them Take this off, and then you're gonna wash them all in warm, warm water or cold water but because they're sticky, so make sure you, you rinse them. Then you're gonna grab either these chilies, this is the ones I like to use, or the, the, uh, the other ones, the thick ones, okay? Um, the serranos, those are the other ones are called serranos. I live in California, so here in California, we have a lot of uh, Mexican markets, even Bonds and Ralph's and those stores, uh, smart and final they carry all of these items but uh, if you if you um, have a Mexican store close by I think it's the best way to go so you I'm gonna be using about 17 tomatillos because I like to make big quantities with this green salsa I'm gonna be making I'm gonna make some uh, enchiladas and then I'm gonna make some uh, pork with chile verde and nopalitos or potatoes and I'm gonna make some tacos and I'm gonna put it on the tacos so we can make a few things with them. Okay, so I put 17 tomatillos and I put the same amount of chile verdes, okay? Uh, once you start blending it, you might, want not, you might not wanna put all the chilies inside until you taste it and it's, because you never know how hot it's gonna be. Okay, so it just we'll go slow on the chilies. We like spicy, so we don't really care. Um, I'm gonna use, 17 tomatillos, 17 chiles, about half an onion of white, uh, half a white, white onion. I'm gonna use cilantro. For those of you who don't know what cilantro is, they sell it in a bunch. And they, the bunch is usually dirty. So I suggest that you take, take the little rubber band around and put it inside water and rinse it really good. Sometimes you need to rinse it maybe more than once. I love cilantro, so I usually overdo it on the cilantro. Uh, today on the recipe that I'm making, I'm gonna be um, putting half of the bunch of the cilantro, okay? Some people doesn't like it a lot, but in order to have a nice, tasty uh, salsa verde, you have to have at least a little bit of cilantro, okay? Um, this is the salt that I use. Okay, I usually, I like to go organic as much as I can or natural as much as I can. So this is the salt that I use and I, I found it at um, Tuesday morning. So we have a Tuesday morning or you can find it at, uh, you know, stores, uh, Trader Joe's where they sell organic stuff. 
okay? So you might wanna, in a, in a minute, you might wanna turn your volume uh, down a little bit because the blender is right here next to me. And when I blend the stuff, it's probably gonna sound really, really hard. So I'm gonna get the, 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 the video and I'm gonna show you how the, the tomatillo is supposed to look. So here's, this is how they are supposed to look. You put them in an old water. You do not cut the chilies or the tomatillos. You just boil them. So here they are all boiled, okay? It doesn't really ma matter how much water you use, okay? It, that's uh, because we're not gonna use all of it, okay? So my tomatillos are ready and I'm gonna get ready to, to put it in the blender. I use this, this kind because I want some water but I do not want all of it, okay? So, um, what I do is I put um, half of this, half of the onion in it, and half of my cilantro. I just I put a little bit of salt. I'm not going to tell you how much salt to use because you're going to put as much salt as you want, okay? And I usually just pour a little bit, and then after I make it, I t I taste it, and I make sure that I have enough. So let me let me get a bowl so we can. I usually pour it in something like this, and I take it out as I need it. Some of it, sometimes I even um, I even uh, put in the freezer, which is sometimes is a good idea. So this is my my uh, blender cut, and then I'm I'm gonna start pouring the chilies. Like I said, you might want to separate your chilies, but I, we usually don't. We just mix them, and you start putting. Um, Put about half of it, okay? So there you have it, okay? You might wanna add it just a little tiny bit of water for the bottom. Okay, just a little bit. And then, here we go, okay? Make sure you don't have all the volume because it's gonna be noisy. Okay, so here we go. second and don't open it until it stops because sometimes the the, the uh, blender throws the, the salsa whatever you're blending up okay so this is how it looks I, I blend it about 20 seconds so you pour it okay and I'm gonna show you how it looks in a minute oh we don't get some more oh my god that stuff is really good and it's not very spicy it's just tasty which I like. My husband usually likes it like more spicy than I do, but I just go on to uh, not like spicy too much. So you get uh, everything inside. And like I said, it doesn't really need that many spices. The only thing that we're gonna be using is the onion and the cilantro, which is gonna give it, you know, all the flavor. So then we put the other half of the onion and then we put the rest of the cilantro inside in there, okay? So here, this is how it looks. I'm not gonna put any salt right now until I'm finished blending and I taste it and make sure that I have enough. I don't want to Okay, so we're pouring it inside, right there. So with 17 tomatillos and 17 chilies, let me show you, this is how much I got, okay? So with this, I'm gonna be making a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, maybe tomorrow I can teach you how to make uh, some guacamole from this kind of salsa that we're making where I come from. So, it just said it needs a little more salt. So that's where you pour as much salt as you need. Oh my goodness, this is really, really good. So now I'm gonna try it with, with the chip. 
I tried to use blue or black chips because they said they're healthy, so. Mm. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna put the camera on so you can see it. Let me see, right there, that's my that's the salsa. If you have any questions, any comments, please feel free. I'm very new at this, so I'm still working the camera, but feel free to make a comment. Uh, please like, subscribe in the button, and we'll see you soon with another recipe.